Author George R. R. Martin tells us a story about how he didn't plan on putting any actual dragons in the books when he started writing the first one. He then had a conversation with fellow writer Phyllis Eisenstein who famously told him, George, it's fantasy, you've got to put in the dragons. And now he says he can't imagine the series without them and neither can we. While watching this beautiful series, a lot of questions pop into the heads of the watchers like where do the dragons in the house of the dragon come from? How did people manage to tame them and many more? Well, there are a few myths about the creation of dragons and we shall explore some of them. Dragons have inspired awe and wonder since the beginning of human imagination. Most recently, these fire-spitting flying creatures, in modern western culture at least, have come alive in Game of Thrones and its new spin-off House of the Dragon. We know dragons were prolific hundreds of years ago in an ancient city called Old Valyria on the continent of Essos where Daenerys spends the first six seasons of Game of Thrones. And the Valyrians claimed dragons sprang from the 14 flames, a ring of volcanoes which circled the ancient city. It is not the same with the people of Quoth. They believe dragons burst from a second moon in the sky which cracked like an egg. Another interesting theory is that dragons were created by Valyrian blood mages who bred creatures called wyverns with fireworms. Whatever the story of their origin is though, they became strongly bonded to the Valyrians who tamed them over centuries. It is thought the Valyrians managed to do this by using dragon horns or through blood magic which is similar to how Daenerys first hatches her dragon in Game of Thrones Season 1. With the use of these unstoppable weapons of war, the Valyrians carved out a powerful empire called the Valyrian Freehold. Not long after, a cataclysmic event known as the Doom of Valyria destroyed the entire Valyrian Peninsula, including all the people and dragons residing there. It is unknown what caused the cataclysm, but volcanoes erupted and filled the air with fire and ash, killing almost all the people and dragons. Thanks to the Targaryen's foresight, after a woman named Daenys Targaryen had a prophetic vision 12 years before it happened, their dragons were spared. One of them, Beleriand, also known as the Black Dread, would become the largest and most feared dragon in the history of Westeros. The Targaryens fled Valyria and brought five dragons with them to Dragonstone, the island to the east of Westeros, which is the seat of House Targaryen in House of the Dragon. House Targaryen lived on Dragonstone for a century after the doom of Valyria, during which four of the five dragons died. Beleriand, the Black Dread, was thought to be the last surviving dragon from Old Valyria. In this time, Aegon Targaryen, King Viserys' great-great-grandfather, decided he wanted to rule Westeros. He conquered the continent with Beleriand and his sister-wives Visenya and Rhaenys, riding Vagar and Meraxes. It was with the flames of Beleriand, the Black Dread, that Aegon forged the Iron Throne from the swords of his enemies. He was the first king of the Seven Kingdoms and is known as Aegon the Conqueror. Following this period of great prosperity for the realm and the Targaryens, a dispute over succession leads to the family turning against itself and the civil war known as the Dance of the Dragons. This marks the beginning of the end for the dragons of Westeros. They simply stop hatching. No one really knows why. Dragons had not been seen in Westeros since the reign of King Aegon III when the last tiny sickly dragon died. Within two generations, the last dragon will be born and die soon after during the reign of Aegon III, henceforth nicknamed the Dragon Bane. The extinction of dragons brings with it longer, harsher winters and weakened magic throughout the world. During this time, there are several disastrous attempts to hatch the remaining eggs left in the world. One Targaryen king set an entire castle on fire in an attempt to hatch five eggs. Another simply tried sitting on one for a day and night to no avail. 
It is clear there is a huge event before Game of Thrones which resulted in dragons becoming almost extinct. The extinction seemed pretty permanent until, in Season 1 of Game of Thrones, Daenerys Targaryen receives three petrified dragon eggs which no one ever expect would hatch. The eggs are thought to be petrified but still extremely valuable. After Drogo dies, Danny's companion Ser Jorah Mormont suggests selling the eggs to fund her quest to retake Westeros. Fortunately, she doesn't listen. Instead, she places the ex on her husband's funeral pyre and then walks into the fire herself as her Targaryen blood makes her immune to the flames. This precise combination of events at this exact time causes the ex to hatch and Dany becomes the proud mother of three baby dragons, Drogon, Viserion and Rhaegal. And that's where the history ends for now. Well guys, hope the video was of some help. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. For more videos like these, check our channel out and please do not forget to support this new channel of ours by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. See you soon.